What's up guys, Intellitech Studios here, and well, I haven't done a video in quite a while that was sort of random vacuuming, but also showing off machines that I've repaired, and so I repaired three machines recently, uh, they were just, you know, pretty minor fixes. This Hoover that you're looking at is the one that I've put the most work into yet haven't actually like reconditioned per se. Um, the brush roll I did kind of recondition in the sense of like cleaned it out and cleaned it off, but it's still, I still haven't cleaned the filters yet and it still has its original belt on it, but it had a lot of, oh, my lights just flickered, but it had a lot of clogs in it, both in the lower hose and throughout the main hose. And it appears to have the same motor as the a lot of the Bissells, and it has, this hose wasn't installed correctly. But otherwise, it seems to work, but I figured I'd do some, a little bit of vacuuming with this, just because why not, and because I don't know if I've, if you guys have seen it running, plus because I gave my dog some chips, some tortilla chips, or I guess technically they were broken taco shells. And there are some crumbs that was left behind because she doesn't do a very good job vacuuming. I mean, she does a great job, doesn't she? Ruby. 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 Oh, uh, she's ignoring me. So she does a good job vacuuming up big stuff, but um, she doesn't necessarily do the best job at vacuuming up little crumbs and stuff. So that's where an actual vacuum, the one that doesn't have a tongue, kind of comes into play. So, yeah, we'll vacuum with this for a little bit so you can see it running. And then also, just for kicks and giggles, show off the two Bissells that I reconditioned, as well as, um, well, yeah, pretty much that. So, because the only thing left to say about the 6594 that I'm fixing is that it has rust on the motor spindle that I need to work out, and the actual base assembly has some issues with it where the brush won't sit in properly. So... If I remember correctly, I do still have a Power Force heat, uh, bagless turbo that is like a 6585 model. And I may steal the parts from that, but I'm not quite sure yet. Obviously, I still need to get the motor from my blue 6594. So I'm still trying to figure out what the heck to do with that. I may just say screw it and just sell them all. Uh, or sell the extra 6594 and the turbo. And then just use the money to buy a new motor for the 6594. But I don't know what I'm going to do with that yet. But either way... So, um, for now, here's this Hoover Nano Cyclonic. I guess we'll look at it a little bit first. So, we can see, I've been vacuuming with this for the last couple of days, just to, you know, give it a thorough test, and because, yeah, hair in my mouth. Whoever had this didn't have it for very long, or at the very least, they took good care of it before it got thrown out. I obviously wiped it off with a disinfectant rag, and... One thing I love about Hoover's compared to every other brand is Hoover's clean up the easiest. Like, it does not take a lot to get a Hoover back to new looking condition. And that is definitely very nice. Like, Bissell's and Dyson's and stuff like that, they always, the bins always go cloudy. Any translucent areas go cloudy and are impossible to restore. It's just not great. And you'll see that whenever I show the Bissell's. But if we look, it has this little latch here to put it in a bare floor mode, which does work pretty well. It does turn the brush off, but it doesn't really clean all that well. It it stands pretty far off the floor. We can see it says HEPA filtration. That's obviously garbage because the actual exhaust filter in this thing is just a little pad. In fact, you, know, you can see that right here. Uh, this also doesn't like to come off. You pr push this button, but it's still like stuck on until you push it off. But, and then it has this little thing that opens, if I can get this. It's got that, like, weirdly crooked filter. It has a filter indicator. I do like this a lot more than the um, other compact machines I've gotten recently. Okay, that's not working. <laughs> this isn't the review anyways, so I don't want to go too in-depth in all this stuff, because this is just showing it fixed. Uh, the review will come later after I use this for a little bit longer and come to a good conclusion on it. Not that it really matters. I don't think they sell this anymore anyways. But there's the stupid filter cover. And here's the filter. 
just a little pad. I mean, it's it's good that you can actually get to it. Oh, did I have this in upside down? I did. Okay. It's good that you can actually get to it. And you and I haven't watched this at all, by the way. That's that's how it was when I got it. So you can see, you can tell why I didn't even bother washing it because it's just so little stuff on it. But yeah, so it says clean filter once per month. Yeah. Suction inlet. There's the motor inlet right there. I'll have to... Oh, there we go. Whenever I'm actually just trying to do it quickly, then it goes on correctly. Oh, come on. Alright, there we go. Come on, get back on there. And put this down. We can see wheels, brush roll, about what you would expect. No cleaning area on this side. Look at the sticker. It's upside down, but you can see UH-2021, UH-20021. Can you see that even though it's upside down? Manufacturing code J14A. Okay, so 2014, six-year-old machine. That's not, oop, oh, I forgot. This is, uh, this release is uh, friction. And, hey, ew, that doesn't look good. I didn't notice that. Well, so pop that back up so you can't exactly pull this upright unless you grab it by this section and sort of manhandle it but so yeah that's the nano cyclonic and again it's not a review so i don't want to go too much in depth but you can tell i've been using it and all the crap is plugged up in this top section because of course it is it's like identical to the dirt double newer dirt devil breeze that everyone hates rightfully so so uh, and it has the that that stupid thing where it has the handle that turns into a wand, but it's not too bad. But yeah, so I might as well go ahead and grab the other two pistols and show those off as well. So you can see that I fixed those as well, but I guess first we'll go ahead and run this if I don't rip the cord out of the wall. The cord's also obscenely short on this. It's like 20 feet, I think, 18, 20 feet. So again, similar to like the compact or that, that dirt devil that I just unboxed. Oh, come on, get out of the way. All right, let's turn it on. Get to really clip that back into place but yeah so that's that stupid hoover i expected this thing to be a lost cause just because it was obviously the cheapest vacuum out of the whole lot that i got in the vacuum save but it ended up being one of the easiest and smoothest to repair because uh, even that smart vac that worked uh initially i was using the smart vac after i put a new bag in it and it was working great obviously still needs a handle release until i went to turn it off and the power switch went out so it just wouldn't shut off. The power switch just broke, like right as I was using it. So that smart bag needs some more work, but this Hoover is working just fine. Where is my phone? Oh, here it is. 
All right, so we got these stupid things wired up. And I only say stupid because I've gotten so many of these things that they're not interesting anymore. They're not fun. Even 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 the oldest one, even the 6594, because it's just, you know... Ruby, what are you doing? What are you sniffing? You want to help me use the vacuums? Okay, you're going to help deposit some hair? Okay, good. So... Ironically, uh, the worse condition you go and the older you go, the better quality the bins become. Because this blue one, the bin is clouded like crazy. And this purple one's not as bad, but you can't tell because of all the scratches. And then this 6594 is just perfect. Like, it's really new looking in this department. Like, what is up? Like, this, I mean, yeah, sure, it's got scuffs, but I mean, it's. It's got some water deposits that I could very easily wipe out, but otherwise it looks good. It smells good too, because I used Persil, because of course I did. And you can see there's some spots of dirt in there. I didn't rinse this whole inner piece. I didn't like take it down that far, but you know, it, it's all right. But these other two are exactly how you'd expect. There's nothing wrong with them. You know, uh, the bin actually cracked on the one that went to this purple one so the other purple one that had the bad switch and the bad cord and also uh that one had the had the lower cord hook but this one didn't so i took those good parts and put them on this one so i built one really good one out of two crappy garbage ones so this one has a bin that's not cracked um, and yet the top piece is the one from this that doesn't have as much as many scratches does have the cord hook You know everything's in order and with the blue one same thing the other blue one was miss it had the cord hook This one was missing the cord hook. So I put the cord hook on this one and Oh same thing with the handle Actually the handle on this purple one. It was missing the upper piece and it was all scuffed on the top on this purple one so again, I put the good handle on from both machines and again, just built one really good one out of two crappy ones in the case of both of these. This one, the plan was I was going to use parts from Power Groom Helix Rewind. Mainly the filter cover and a couple other pieces, but uh, none of it fit. The brush roll fits, but none of the other stuff fits because it's all like slightly different sizes. And the hose also doesn't really fit, but it w it'll do. Like it's loose on this top portion, but it does... It still holds, it's just not, like, you can pull it through, but it's still okay, and uh, it'll be fine for now. And obviously it doesn't have this, but again, like, it will work without it, it's just not ideal. I'm obviously not going to give this back to the customer in this condition, I'll just give her this machine instead, or whichever one of these she would prefer, uh, just give her a newer version, like I said when I talked about this. And since the motor spindle still has rust on it, and the brush roll won't sit in this housing properly. I don't have a belt on this, so the brush is not going to spin. But if you still want to see what it looks like on the bottom, this is actually the brush roll for a Power Force Helix Turbo, even though it was in the Power Groom Helix Rewind. So uh, someone's been in there, and you can tell this does not spin properly. The bearings on this brush are good. It's just the housing is like warped and melted in this area so it's actually rubbing against the brush roll itself and I'm trying to figure out how to fix that so if there's any way to fix that without me having to sacrifice this entire housing I'll have to figure that out and also I put the bumper back on which is easy enough and so yeah so this is obviously not complete it still needs more work but it's at least that's the state of it right now so I need to get the Get the rust off the motor spindle, which I'm pretty sure I can do with some sandpaper and just turn it on and just have the sandpaper just rub the rust off. But obviously the housing not fitting the brush roll is a big issue. So and also one of the one of the screws busted off, but the rest of them are fine. So I couldn't pull this apart all the way, but it was enough for me to at least clean it. So yeah. And I will take this handle off and put it on my other 6594-W that doesn't have the sticker since the handle's in good shape. So I, I will do that. And maybe the same story with the bin since the bin's in good shape too. So I, I may use this to put good parts on my other 6594, but we'll see my other 6594-W, the black one. 
The blue one does. I'm not going to change anything on it other than whenever I get an, uh, a new motor for it. And you know, some people some people have said that I should just take the motor out of this and put it in that one. I'm not sure if I'm going to do that yet. I would rather just get a new motor that wasn't pulled out of a different machine since I want to put a new brush roll in it as well. I want to actually work like a brand new machine. But we'll see how that goes. So, obviously these are all running the original motors. But again, these ones will, brushes will spin. This one will not. So just keep that in mind. Not that you can really see it, but you'll be able to tell that it's not grooming the carpet as much. Okay, that's enough rambling. Let's run these stupid things. So we'll start off with uh, Baby Blue over here, a uh, classic one. So that one works perfectly. Now this purple one. Both of these do the stupid little wobble thing that these always do. And finally this stupid thing. Oh, this is really hard to push. Really hard to push. Yeah, motor still needs some more, more work, but I mean, it, it is working. It does have a lot better suction than it used to. If I can pull this stupid hose off. <laughs> smells really good too and this one and this one Come on. So that's these stupid things and that stupid thing all up and all up and running. So that's uh, since I've done one of these vacuum fixed videos in a while, I figured I might as well want to see these. It's it's mostly all Bissels and this Hoover that basically has the same motor as all these Bissels. But I figured some of y'all want to see it since some of you guys did like the last uh, other vacuum repair video that I did showing off machines that I refurbished and fixed up. So, there we go. These three have been, well, This these two have been refurbished. This one's been halfway refurbished, and this one has just been fixed. So, but yeah. I mean, these, these ones were refurbished. It's just they don't look, they, you know, they don't look perfect since these ones don't clean up the best. If I put in a lot of work really scrubbing the uh, clear parts, I could get them to look new. But considering the only people that are going to buy, the, buy these are going to be actual people who use them, these look as good as the one that I, as the refurbished turbo that I got from Bissell themselves. So if it's good enough for Bissell themselves, it's good enough for me. And uh, yeah, so it'll be good enough for any of my customers. So, and uh, I haven't had any complaints about these yet. So that's pretty much it. So Teletech Studio signing out with some. More fixed up vacuums uh, from the vacuum saved. So, uh, yeah, that's pretty cool. And that the other purple one is just sitting on the front porch just rotting away. Since there's not really anything to do with it, I'll take the brush roll out of it and probably chuck the rest of it. But, uh, probably still keep it around just in case. I don't know. We'll see. But So I guess if anyone has one of these and they need parts, I mean, I guess let me know. and Maybe I could sell you a piece off of it i don't know if you need the hose or something let me know but yeah so it's almost 20 minutes of vacuum repaired goodness so hopefully that's good and this is Intelitech studios and i'll see you guys in the next one so have a good one peace <laughs>